Oh, you think you know how to count? Galaxy 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20? Whoops, no, not that. This is the Samsung Galaxy S20. But are these models worth a nine phone leap? Kinda? First things first, there are three new phones. There's the big Galaxy S20, the bigger Galaxy S20 Plus, and the even bigger Galaxy S20 Ultra. The biggest improvements to the whole line? First, 5G. All three of the Android phones have the faster connectivity. That is, if you're in an area with coverage, which isn't many right now. And second, a whole new camera system. The phones have better sensors, zoom features, 8K video recording with improved stabilization, night mode, the list goes on. They also have OLED displays with integrated fingerprint sensors and a generous 128 gigabytes of base storage. Oh, and has anyone seen the headphone port on here? Have you seen it? Anyone? No headphone port? Yeah, it's gone. So which one do you pick? The differences come in screen size and cameras. Let's start smallish. The Galaxy S20 has a 6.2 inch screen and three cameras on the back. I couldn't test the camera quality in the short demo time, but I did get to test one of the new awesome features that's on all three phones. This is the Samsung Galaxy S20. This is a juggler. What's your name? Blue. Your name is Blue? B-L-U-E. B-L-U-E? That's me. Press the button and the AI-driven feature captures the scene in both stills and video at the same time. You don't have to think about choosing one or the other. And it says capturing meaningful moments. This is so meaningful to me. Then you can see the different videos and photos the system's taken. This is, it says the best shot, which it is a really good shot. I'm a really good photographer. And this is a little video, which is nuts. Moving on up, the Galaxy S20 Plus with an even bigger 6.7 inch screen. Get that? In addition to those three cameras on the standard S20, this one has a time of flight camera. It captures depth information for augmented reality applications. Those too small for you? That's why there's the Galaxy S20 Ultra and it's whopping 6.9 inch screen and crazy camera system. This one's got a 108 megapixel wide camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and this 48 megapixel telephoto. The real trick is in the last one, which has a folded zoom and a prism to refract light. It has a 10X optical zoom and a 100X digital zoom option. I tried it out and it was pretty crazy and potentially creepy. Standing 13 feet away from this notepad, I could snap this shot and read that tiny handwriting. Whoa. Ultra also has a 40 megapixel selfie cam, which is great for seeing if you need to tweeze your eyebrows or nose hair. So I did the math, and if you bought all three of these phones, the base models would cost you together $3,600. The S20 starts at $1,000 the S20 Plus at $1,200, and the Ultra at $1,400. Samsung is dropping the price on last year's models, so the Galaxy S10 line now starts at $600. Yes, the Galaxy S20 looks promising and expensive, but I'll need a bit more time with them to see if it really should have been the Galaxy S11.